Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Tea Dottles. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> um, it is time for episode, I have no idea, because of Tea Dottles Talks, because I don't have any notes today. I'm kind of winging it. Um, it will be in the description what number it is. I think it's, I don't know, it's 30 something. I know that. <laughs> That's all I know. Um, I would like to first welcome new subscribers and welcome back subscribers. I'm happy to have y'all here with me, my maker shenanigans. Um, I do like to do the sewing bits and the yarny bits and the DIY bits. Um, so I consider this a maker podcast. Um, I have on my shirt today, my maker's gonna make shirt. And that's what I'm gonna be doing today. <laughs> I mean, making, making, making. Um, I would also like to say, if you'd like to find me anywhere else in the social media areas, you can check out my links down below. I do have a blog. I have an Etsy shop. Um, I have a Facebook group. All those links are down below. Um, lots of fun things going on in the Facebook group, so y'all go check that out. Um, and I'm thinking about, I haven't posted this in the group yet, but I think I'm going to, someone uh, was sharing it where they had received, uh, some of the makers in the group, it seems, exchanged items. One was sewing things and one was crocheting things and they exchanged items. Um, I thought it would be fun to do a maker swap where you could um, be paired with someone who does Something that maybe you don't do, like um, if you don't sew, you could be paired with a sewist. And if you're a crocheter or a knitter, you could be paired with them and, and swap things. Um, I think that would be, uh, or other maker type things. There's people in there that make cards and um, art type projects and things, you know, with the clay and the painting. So, um, I, I don't know. What do y'all think about that? I got to pose that question in my... Um, maker group but I think that would be I think that would be a really fun thing to do uh to get paired with someone who makes things that you don't make um so I uh, will try to get in there maybe later today um so this podcast uh, I'm kind of doing this I'm gonna do this in parts over the day it's Friday it's probably closing in on 12 o'clock because I slept late um, even though I had said I'd get up early, yeah, I, I don't have to work today, and yesterday I only had my afternoon class, and I have Monday off as well, so I'm going to enjoy my sleeping in <laughs> as much as I can. Even though I do get more stuff done when I get up early, I am not a morning person at all. I have never been a morning person, and it's probably gotten worse since I don't have a thyroid anymore, but, uh, yeah, I've just never been a morning person. I don't, I enjoy, I'm not always asleep when I'm in the bed, but I enjoy snuggling in my covers. <laughs> Especially since we finally have a little bit of fall weather coming in in my area. I'm so happy. We were still getting in the upper 90s and 100 degree weather. And finally this week that broke and it's been, it has gotten up to 90 a couple days, but it's still nice and breezy outside it's just wonderful and in the mornings it's it's in the upper 50s 60s so quite wonderful and I love it um I hope that it stays that way and just continues to get cooler um that's my favorite kind of weather um I am tomorrow I'm going to the 100 mile peanut picking yard sale um it runs through several cities along a certain road, Highway 280, I think it is. And uh, we go, we've been going for years now. Last year, I did not get to go because Hurricane Michael came through. As a matter of fact, it came, th this is a year ago today that it came through. Um, so that kind of ruined all of that. So I'm glad that there's nothing like that looking <laughs> in the weather. It's, although we do need some rain here. It's very dry here. We have not had rain in weeks. Um, my grass is dead and crunchy, along with the crunchy leaves. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, um, 
it, we do need some rain. Um, it looks like there's some coming later in the week or towards the beginning of next week, I should say. Um, so yeah, we do need that. Um, I just hope that it doesn't flood because it will, if it rains super hard all at once, it could cause flooding because the ground can't soak it all up. You know, it's so dry. Anyway, well, I'm hoping to see some rain, but just like regular rain. <laughs> um, I am drinking my coffee. This is my second cup of coffee today, but look at it. It's a new coffee mug. How cute is that? Happy fall, y'all. I saw this on Etsy. And I had to have it, y'all. It is gorgeous. I love the color of it. And the buffalo plaid and pumpkins. And then it's got y'all on there. So I had to have it. It was it was $20. Um, plus $7 to ship it. Because, you know, it's it's a hefty mug. So I felt like it was well worth it. She, uh, It's from the Overflowing Cup. That's where I got it from. I'll put a link down below. I did share it on Instagram yesterday. People seem to really love it. Um, it's, she does the decal on it, you know, where they do the cutouts and they put them on there. She has a bunch of different ones. As a matter of fact, I showed it to my mother and she liked it. So I ordered her one yesterday. Um, I ordered her one in pink. They have it in pink with the speckles. Um, and I got hers with rose gold on the tires and some of the pumpkins are rose gold because uh, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and my mother is a breast cancer survivor 17 years, which is awesome. So I ordered her one of those and I may have ordered me another cup. I ordered a different one. I'll show it to y'all when it comes in. It's a Christmas one. I couldn't resist it. Plus, if I spent over $35, I got free shipping. So, you know, that's always an incentive to buy more things, right? I'd rather have the things than to pay for the shipping. Um, I have, y'all tell me, is this wrong? I have McCafe pumpkin spice coffee in here. I had some of the pods. But I have... Uh, Starbucks pumpkin spice latte creamer that I found in the store in here. Is it wrong to have <laughs> Starbucks creamer in a McCafe coffee? I mean, I don't know. It's just what it is. It's quite tasty. But I found that creamer at Walmart. I do love the pumpkin spice stuff. Although I feel like they get way carried away with it. They put it in everything. I don't want it in everything. I heard on the radio the other day that they, they have it in Spam, which Spam is gross anyway. I used to eat it when I was a kid. Would never eat it now unless I just had no other choice. But, yeah. I don't want pumpkin spice Spam. That's gross. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I also enjoy all the other flavors that come along this time of year. You know, they have so many interesting flavors in the coffee drinks and stuff. Um, I like to try the different ones. I do love peppermint mocha as well. Whale, that's one of my favorites. Um, so yeah, I did notice in this uh, pumpkin spice latte creamer from Starbucks, it is real cream and milk versus uh, the non-dairy stuff. One of the ingredients was buttermilk, which I was very interested to see. I'm always looking at ingredients um, of stuff, which you really should, but um, I do it mostly because I'm interested to see what's in it when I taste a certain flavor. Um, so that was interesting that it has buttermilk in it. So. Hold on just a second, y'all. Okay. I heard a ding on my computer and I had to go check it out. I'm dealing with some grade things at the moment. We just finished up um, midterm last week for the college I teach with. And um, I was working on getting grades out because I thought they were due this past Wednesday. Turns out they're not due till next Tuesday. No, Wednesday. 
I think that's right. But anyway, um, I got some other things going on that I'm trying to get under control. <laughs> so I had to go check that email on my computer. Um, ah, craziness. Okay, so what I'm doing today, I'm going to record this beginning portion. And then I'm going to go do stuff. And then I'm going to come back and do record some more. I'm going to record it over the day. And then uh, hopefully get it uploaded and everything this evening. So that I can um, have it to y'all by Saturday. Because like I said, I'm going to the yard sale Saturday. I'm getting up early. That is something I will get up early for. <laughs> well, that and work, of course. But uh, um, going with my parents. And I'm really looking forward to it. I always find some interesting things. So I'll be looking for some pictures on Instagram of that tomorrow. Um, so today, well, first I want to show you this one little thing. And then I'm going to talk about what I'm going to be doing today. And uh, and then I'll let y'all go for a little bit. And I'll come back in a little while. Y'all, y'all wouldn't even know if I didn't tell y'all that, really. Would you? No, you wouldn't. Okay. So, this week I received some happy mail from a subscriber um, for my birthday, and I super appreciate that, and I'd like to share it with y'all. Um, so, I got a little package, and in it, it had, um, had this little sign, which says, Make, Do, and Mend. I really like that. I forgot to find something to put it in. I have stuff that people send me friends and uh subscribers and well i consider y'all my crafty friends all my subscribers um and i have them like all around in different places in my room and i was thinking uh, maybe i need to get like a bulletin board or something that i can put up back here somehow so y'all can see all of it i don't know we'll have to see how that goes but I'll, it also had this uh bookmark that says reading is a meowjic it's a different color on the other side. Y'all, I've been really... Uh, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let me show you what else I got. And then we'll talk about books in a minute. Okay, how about that? Uh, and then this right here. I mean, I love those things. But when I saw this, I kind of squealed in delight. Because this is something I've been looking at anyway. She sent me this fabric panel. This is by Sarah Watts for the Ruby Star Society. Um, uh, and I've been eyeballing this. Look at it. It's got these, it's got a sewing machine up here. This comes in different colorways, but I really like this one. Um, and it has a unicorn and look, there's a bear and it's got different things on the panel. And then on this side, it has an owl and look and the bear and in the middle it has some really cool little things in the middle it's just a really cool fabric panel um the things in the middle all say made with love so they're like you can put them on things that you make and they just have cool little things there's an octopus and just all kinds of cool little things um and I super love this. I have plans for one of these panels, probably the sewing machine one. I'm going to turn it into a pillow, a new pillow for my thinking chair over there. Um, yes, I have a thinking chair. It's, it's actually a thrifty find. We'll talk about that in a minute. I want to finish talking about this. So thank you so much, Ellen. I super appreciate this. Um, I will put this to good use. I have already been looking at the other fabric in the line so that um, I could get some <laughs> to add with this. Um, yes, it's always nice to receive happy mail from uh, people. It really made my day. Although my husband said, um, y'all, I thought I was going to sneeze. I had my eyes getting all Nose is still very irritated by something in the air. Okay, I think we're safe. I don't think I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> so, I was telling my husband about it. I was like, look, I got a birthday gift from uh, one of my subscribers. And he's like, it's a little early for that, isn't it? I said, 
oh, you didn't know that my birthday is all month? <laughs> it's like, yeah, right. <laughs> so, um, but I really do love it. Um, thank you so much. Um, it's always nice. It's always fun to get happy mail. Um, I'm always disappointed when I go to my mailbox and there's nothing exciting in there, you know. <laughs> So, when I was talking about it, I got off on two tangents while I was <laughs> showing y'all that. I said something about my thinking chair. It is a chair that I bought for about $15. Well, it might have been $10. I don't know. It's pretty cheap. It's a wingback chair. Um, I bought it at one of the 100 mile yard sales events. Um, and I did a whole makeover on it. I actually dyed it uh, purple. It's a purpley color. And I recovered the cushion and I painted the feet and stuff. So it all that's on the blog. Um, I can certainly put links down below so you can go check it out. It was a two-part uh, blog post because I did one about dyeing the chair. And then I did one about recovering the cushion. It's one of those T-shaped cushions and it had piping on the edge and everything. So y'all would like to check that out. Y'all certainly can. And I sit in it when I am making. That's my favorite place to sit when I crochet slash knit and watch YouTube, Netflix, or whatever I'm doing, or working on the computer. Uh, that's my favorite place to sit. So, I have a pillow in there currently. It's just an old throw pillow. So, I'm going to make a yeah, sewing machine pillow to sit in. It. It'll be really nice. Um, yeah, what else am I? Okay, and the other tangent I got off on was about the bookmark. I guess I was talking about, you know, I have tons and tons of books in my Kindle app on my phone because I love to read, although I haven't been able to read a book in a quite a while. Um, and I was, I usually, I was so excited when I got it because I could get like instant access to books. I didn't have to wait for them to be delivered to me, but I've kind of, I, I got the crochet magazine in the mail and I kind of miss having the actual physical book. Um, so I've been, uh, all the books that are just quick reads, I probably wouldn't buy the paperback because it's just, they could be donated to the library though. But, um, so crafting books, I'm starting to, uh, just order the book instead of getting the PDF uh, download because I do that sometimes and, uh, sometimes it's nice to have the book, right? So, um, yeah, um, I'll be putting this bookmarked to good use um so what am i doing today today i'm going to be sewing i just updated the shop in case you missed that on instagram it was supposed to go up wednesday night but my internet was not cooperating it was taking forever to upload i have a i use pic monkey to edit my pictures and you have to upload the picture into it and it, took, it was taking forever to upload the picture it took me forever to get the pictures edited, and then when I went to do my Etsy listings, it would not load the pictures in there. There was something going on with the internet, so I just gave up. And then I did get it finished Thursday before lunch, because I didn't have a morning class Thursday, so I slept in again. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I got, um, lost my train of thought for a second, y'all. Maybe I need some more coffee. <laughs> okay. I got it updated. I put some, uh, and I may show you some of the stuff in my sewing section, but, um, because some of it's already been bought since I put it up there. And everything is on sale except for single stitch markers in my shop for 15% off for the whole month of October. That's my birthday, my fall birthday bash sale. Um, I, uh, that's my gift to y'all for my birthday. So, um, even when I put new things in the shop, they will be on sale too. I have more things coming. I'm hoping to get them all in before the end of October because all of my Halloween stuff I need to get made and put in there before the end of October. Um, so I'll be working on that. I have a few because when I updated the shop, I did, um, I put some maker drawstring bags in there. Um, mini maker bags 
and some more zippered pouches. I'll probably hold off on the zippered pouches for a while because I got a ton of them in there. They don't go as quickly as some of the other things. It just depends. Um, but the leftover pouches that I put in there previous update do match some bags that people may have purchased. So there's that. Um, I am going to be finishing up some zippered maker pouches, zippered maker bags, and I have one more tote. I did put two totes in there in my update. Um, they're made with the Batik charm squares. The other tote matches the skeleton printed stuff I put in there. Um, I, that's my first Halloween set. I have more coming. Um, so I'm going to be working on finishing that up. I have some special orders I need to finish up for people. Um, I have to, I'm hoping, we'll see how the day goes, to hem up at least my mother's tee that I cut out and one for me um, to get the hems done on two, two shirts that I showed y'all before. Um, and maybe even my Cotton Cuts Club, which I got the new one and I haven't even done the last one so I need to do those um, yeah so I was waiting on before I did the tote one thing I was waiting on is this it's a I don't know how well it'll work but I'm gonna try it out it says it's supposed to work with the size that I have this big one so Cause it says the big ones for one inch or larger tubes and I cut them well they're two inches though I don't think about that I don't know why I thought that, that would work but <sighs> we'll see if it works because y'all turning those handles is a pain <laughs> especially in the velveteen fabrics I've been using on some of them I spent an hour turning four handles the other night it's very annoying and anything I've tried looked up tips and tricks for turning handles they don't work for the velveteen because it's not slippery like most of those tutorials are some kind of slippery or just basic cotton fabric which <sighs> anywho that's what I'm gonna be working on and um, for the whole weekend that I'm off minus tomorrow because tomorrow is my day to go to the yard sale I've also got to work on the rest of the advent calendar bags for Southern Skein's advent calendar. Um, and I've got to work on my crochet pattern for that. Okay. Um, yeah. So lots of fun things going on while I'm off. I'll be making, making, making. Um, and I think that that's all I have to tell you for this portion, this little updated portion. Um, I got some fun things to share with y'all and yarny goodness that I've been working on and in the fabric obsess. But like I said, I'm going to do them as I go along. Um, the day, oh, I thought I need to do a blog post. I have an idea about what I might do for that, but I'm not going to say anything because I don't know yet. Because, oh, I just thought about that. I haven't done a blog post this week. Grr so much going on but it's okay I'm excited about all of it and I'm excited to have some time off to actually do some things to do all the things so I'll see y'all in the next se segment <laughs> it's time for yarny goodness yes I have a different shirt on <laughs> because this is a different day this is all the way into Sunday because I did not <laughs> get to record anything else Friday because I was sewing on the same bag that for some reason didn't seem to want to get done because of me continually making mistakes and having to undo things but it's done now and I'll show it to you in my fabric obsessed section um, so I'm trying to get this done so I can get it up by this by the time everything processes it processes processes 
it will be this evening before it's up, possibly early Monday morning because everything is so very slow during that. So I've already processed, I've already edited the first portion that you will have seen. <laughs> um, so now let's go into the yarny goodness. Um, Saturday, I did go to the peanut picking yard sale, the 100 mile peanut picking yarn sale, yard sale. Can't talk today, apparently. Um, I found some, some goodies, which I'm going to do a haul video just for that. Um, and I was quite exhausted when I got home. So I didn't do anything but look around on the internet pretty much <laughs> until I went to bed because I was so exhausted when I got home. Um, yeah, and, uh, I have been taking some time, extra time to rest over this break that I'm having because I, I feel like I need it. So, that's why I haven't quite got as much done as I hoped to, but it's okay. I'm off the rest of the day. I'm going to be recording some more videos and I'm off Monday. So, that's really awesome. Okay. Yarny goodness. Let's get into it. Um. I don't have, well, I didn't know I have one finished object to show you. I can't remember if I showed you this or not. So if I have, I apologize. I think I posted it on Instagram, but I don't know that I ever shared it in the podcast. But I've been working through um, the yarns for my line brand yarn review segments I've been doing, which I'm due to do another one, which won't be till next week now. Yes, I keep putting that off because... I haven't got all my swatches done. <laughs> That's why. But this is one uh, that I finished. It is a... An ear warmer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ear warmer headband thing. That's basically how it would look. <laughs> I think it looked cuter when I showed it off on Instagram because I, you know, I fixed everything. But, uh, I'm trying to remember where I got this pattern from. I don't know why. Beatrice Runs Designs. I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. Beatrice Runs Designs. It was some kind of berry ear warmer pattern. I don't know. But I made this out of that. I don't remember the name of it. I have all that in the links and stuff that I provide. Um, but this is that yarn that was had camel hair in it. So I made that. But I had two uh, skeins of it. So I had some left over. So... I decided to do a knitting project, which this is, I've run out of yarn. The other one's even shorter up in here somewhere. Yeah. So, but I did learn how to knit in the round, which was something I didn't know how to do. I held two strands of it together to do this. Ooh, I really like fluffy squishiness of it with the two and I use these big I don't like these needles y'all these are those boy I just had them for some reason I, these are I think the biggest ones I have in that the set that I have the interchangeable set is like a 11 maybe I don't know I have it right here I'll look at it in just a second but these are a bigger set I don't remember what size they are but I don't like them. I don't like the cable because it get, it does not lay, it twists all up in your face when you're trying to knit. And I don't like the sound that this makes when you're knitting. It's, I just don't enjoy it. But I don't have any bigger needles currently. Something I'm gonna be looking for is some bigger needles for chunky yarn. Um, so I just continued on with it, of course, this is as far as I got. Um, what I plan on doing is I have 
some other one skein yarns over there that I'm probably just gonna join in and just go till it gets, it's supposed to be a cowl. Um, it's not a pattern. It's just, it was just me learning how to knit in the round. <laughs> so, uh, so, but that's as far as I got with that. Um, I will be adding some more yarn to it and continuing on. And I had this big old, I didn't have a stitch marker big enough for these hooks or these needles. So I have one of these mini book rings <laughs> as my stitch marker. Um, and all this is residing in one of my yarn bowls. I got this off of a darn good yarn one time. They had a sale. I really like it. Um, I have another one to show y'all that I got, but we'll, we'll show that in a minute. Okay. So now let's look at whips. Um, so these are kind of finished, but, but whips. I signed up for Annie's Crochet Block of the Month Club. Um, you make this African, African, African here. I liked the colors of it. I thought it would be fun. I'm a little on the fence about this club, y'all. I signed up to be an affiliate of theirs because I liked some of the things I was seeing from their catalog. And then they have a separate one for this crochet club, but they have a bunch of different clubs, actually. And I thought about trying them out. So this was the first one. Um, so the kit came with that. It's got the pattern and it. it's got like a little stitch got in there with a darning needle, this little plastic thing. I kind of like this because I can stick my pattern in it, but it would only hold that size paper um and it came with two crochet hooks that you use for the project um yeah just regular aluminum crochet hooks and it came with two skeins of this everyday premier everyday anti-peeling acrylic Okay, this is the color chinchilla. Okay, so you make three blocks a month. But for what I paid, I got it. I got half price on the first club. You can you, they have a the code. You can get half price on the first code. Code. Um, I'm not completely sure. I'm gonna wait till I get next month's and make my decision about it. So I'm not gonna make my final decision yet, but I've made two of the blocks, which are just, the first one was just single crochet. I do put this little border with the smaller needle, the smaller hook around it. And then the second one is just a double crochet. Okay, that was the first two blocks. There's one more block, which I haven't made yet. And y'all, this is, <laughs> Look how much bigger my crochet double is than my single. Uh, that's gonna, I'm gonna have to stretch that single crochet one out. I, I tend to, when I do single crochet things, they tend to be tighter than other stitches. So. But I have two of them done. The second one has a bit more of a pattern to it. So I haven't made it through one skein yet. Um, it does say to keep any extra yarn to the end when you join and when you add the border. So, uh, yeah, that's the Annie's Crochet Afghan Block of the Month Club. And that's what I have done so far on it. Those are just easy to do when I'm sitting there. I want something quick to do. Um, yeah. So, next I have... I'm gonna break something over here. I've been working on projects still for uh, the yarn I got with. Uh, oh, hang on. Those are 10 millimeter needles. You know what? I think I have some of those in my set over here, so I don't know why I was using those janky needles. <laughs> I can't do anything about it now because they're kind of stuck on there until I bind it off. So, 
anywho, um, I've been working on, I decided to, with this Mandela Ombre, which this is the colorway Cool. Um, this yarn is so soft, y'all. And this is 100% acrylic, but it's very soft. Um, and I like the denseness of the yarns. So, I decided to do a knitting project. Just the backwards, sorry. It's gonna be a scarf. And I learned how to do the seed stitch, which I had a pattern for a hooded scarf, but it was with like bulky yarn. So I just decided to learn what the seed stitch was, which is just alternating knitting pearls is pretty much all that is. Um, and it's kind of tedious, but I love the texture that it makes. So I did these just basic, is it stockinette or is it, is that, I think that's basic stockinette. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. And between these little rows, and what I decided to do, since I got past the three sections of um, seed stitch, which I did not count how tall they were, I just did them till it looked good. I'm going to knit till I get towards the other end and then do this at the other end. So I'm really liking this yarn. Knit up. I just, it's just a wonderful yarn. Uh, so that is one of my projects that I started for the, um, for my review, my further review of this yarn. One of my yarns in all of that, which is what else is in this bag, it's other yarns I got to do a project with so I can tell y'all more about what I think about the yarn. Because I felt like when I was doing that review, those reviews, I felt like, okay, I'm going to do a knit and a crochet swatch based on the swatch information they give you on the side of the packaging. But then I want to do a project with it because once you get further along, uh, with the yarn, you may feel differently about the yarn than you do when you make a swatch. So, yeah, I'm quite enjoying that. I just need to catch up with it. I got a different mug too, y'all, because it's a different day. <laughs> so now, let's move on to some other things in yarny goodness. Those are the only things I've made progress on on my whips. Y'all, I have a ton of whips, and I. I work on them a little bit all the time. I just, if there's nothing really new to show, it's just, I don't see any point in showing it. But, yes, let's see. I do have, no, it only goes up to 8 millimeter. That's, that's why. Okay. Not a 10 millimeter. I need, I want to set or some just nicer, big needles. So this, this set, I've talked about it before, it's interchangeable uh, knitting needle set that I got from Blueprint. It is their brand of stuff. Uh, it comes with this nifty little pouch and it has size. Three and a half millimeter or US four up to the uh -oh, eight millimeter or US eleven. I'll just dump those out. They don't usually fall out that easily, but anyway. So you got the flaps. What? What is going on with them needles? Nothing else is falling out. I'm just gonna hold them till I finish this. So, you get the flaps, and then there's a little zippy pouch in the back. Well, no, it's not zippy. It's just about, you get the extra cables and the little tightening thing and the little caps. You get several sets of those. Um, you get needles in like four different lengths, I think. Well, two, two cables are the same length, and then there's two more that are different lengths. So, um, mine are almost all currently, except that one being in use, which was the scarf I just showed you. Um, the reason I'm talking about this is because currently, and I don't know how long this is gonna last, but Blueprint has this on sale for 70% off. Um, I think it's something like 
$34 and something. If you're not a member, if you are a member, it's $27. You get an extra 15% off if you're, you subscribe to their streaming service. Um, and I really have enjoyed this set. I mean, I haven't tried any other interchangeable sets, but I've enjoyed knitting with this. Um, the brushed aluminum makes them a little bit more grippy than some of the, I have like some child goos um, and they're very pointy, but they're a little slicker than these. But I still enjoy them, but I've, I've really enjoyed this set. So I just wanted to share with y'all that they are in sale. And I'll give y'all a link down below because I just ordered the interchangeable bamboo set, <laughs> which was a little bit more, I think it was 39 for, or it was $29 and something for me because I'm a member of their streaming service. Um, because there's some yarns that are slippery and it's just not fun to knit with these. So I wanted a bamboo set as well. So, um, yeah. So if you need, if you've been looking for one, that is an excellent price from what I've looked at for interchangeable needles. Um, I haven't had problems with them coming unscrewed unless I don't tighten it with that little thing. It just makes a difference. It gives you just that little extra oomph. To hold it down. Uh, what else? Um, I have received my, uh, I don't think I got one last month, and I may be just thinking wrong, but I, I got my darn good yarn club. And remember, this is the first month they upped the price. It was $10 a month. And if you were already a member, you got to keep that price. Um, but now it's $20 a month for new members. Um, it said it was going to have more stuff in it. So I'm, that's what I was looking for, more stuff. Uh, this is what I got. Which I feel like this is similar to what I got before. But darn good... Fancy Twist Yarn, Pink Flamingo. This is a bulky number five. You got this yarn. Is that focusing? No, it's not. There we go. Um, and this is 50 yards, 50 grams of yarn. And then the pattern is what is the pattern? It's a, you get the crochet or the knit version of this little pouch, drawstring pouch. And then I got a zippy pouch. There's darn good yarn on it. It's getting some pretty colors. It's really long. It would be good for, uh, if you have the long knitting needles, I don't think it's quite long enough. I have a couple of Tunisian crochet hooks over there. I'm gonna see if they'll fit in here, but it's a fairly long pouch. It's canvas, has a metal zipper. Um, so that's what we got. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I don't think that was, I'm a little on the fence as to how that is an improvement upon <laughs> the, the price before because they doubled the price I expected more than this okay now you usually got a little extra before it might have been a smaller extra this time it was the zippered canvas bag but it's not like uh, I don't know I'm, I'm not uh, not impressed y'all I'm gonna go ahead and tell the truth I'm not impressed by that uh, I will wait and see what the future boxes hold. Um, there are some extras you get that are online. I think you get like a coupon for free shipping or something every month or some kind of discount every month. And uh, something else. I can't remember what it was. Some of it was online stuff that was extra. But I'm not seeing that big of a upgrade in the box personally so anywho i also they had this as an add-on 
uh, quick, because some reason I think I didn't get a box last month or whatever it was because for some reason they had my payment for it. I don't know. Something got messed up with my the date of my payment or something. I don't know. I had to go change all that because I had signed up for the um. Is this focused on me? There we go. I signed up for the sock club as well, the new sock club they have, because uh, you can get a knitting one or a crochet one, which I think is awesome. It's $20 a month, um, plus shipping. But, and I thought I was, I'm glad I called it because they had my payment for it scheduled after the first one was supposed to go out. I don't know how that happened. I'm not sure, but I've got it fixed and it's, it's on the way. I think it's on, is it on the way? No, I don't think it ships out to the 15th or something like that. So, Because I actually ordered some other yarn from them because I had some credits. I had $25 in credits. So I spent those <laughs> for some, some yarn. So it'll be coming. But I ordered this with this shipment, the add-on, because it was add-on for $15. And I really love this. This is a yarn bowl, but it has a lid. That's what you hear clinkling around. Uh, it's quite beautiful. I love the color of it. I used to have a coffee mug very similar to this that I broke the handle on. So, yeah. I really like it. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. I've been wanting another yarn bowl. Yarn bowl. I quite enjoy the other one. This one's much narrower at the top. But I like the fact that it has a lid and it will keep because sometimes the yarn, even when I put it through the little things, well, it wants to jump out. So, anyway, that's my extra I got um, that came along with my, my club this month. So, let me see. Do I have anything else, yarny goodness, to show y'all? I don't. Oh, I'm trying to see the time at the top. <laughs> oh, I did. Um, some some things that I want to start off, start on. Um... There's so many things, y'all. But one thing I just wanted to show y'all. Uh, Ella from No Catchy Name. And, oh my gosh, I can't remember the other one. But they're doing a, a crochet along, uh, kind of a Halloween crochet along. And they both released patterns, which I purchased both of them. One was a ghost lovey type thing. And then Ella's is a, a frog with a little rit witch hat on it. Um, which I would like to make. I don't know that I'll get it made before they finish their cowl up, but I have these two scrap cakes that I'm planning on making my frog with. Um, this one just has a lot of Halloween-y kind of colors in it, and this one uh, is the one I could find that kind of goes with it. I have a string on everything. So, that's my big dog. Hold on, y'all. Well, maybe not. She stopped. <laughs> she's the deaf one. And if she goes out there. She's usually barking because she's looking for someone. She'll realize I'm in here in a minute. It's not like I can call her and say, I'm in here. <laughs> she just woke up from one of her excessive naps. Anyway, I'm thinking of doing it in these scrap cakes some kind of way. So... Um, I'm hoping to get started on that before that my break is up, but we'll see. Uh, I just want to show that to y'all. Um, I like to make the little scrap cakes. I have several over there that I need to do something with. Um, and the last little bit I wanted to show y'all before the end of this segment is this. <laughs> what is this? This is cotton, y'all. This is cotton straight from the cotton field. I found it on the side of the road. When I went to the peanut picking yard sale, we was riding along the road because it is 100 miles yarn long and it's down country roads. So um, I know some of y'all probably have never seen cotton like as it comes off the plant. That's why all this little stuff is stuck in it. Um, this is how it grows on the plant. It's fluffy and white like this. Um, I can feel you probably can see there's are seeds all in it. That's what that floof is for. It's to protect the seed. The plant does it to protect the seed. Um, yeah. 
And yes, you can find this all along the road where I live at. So there are cotton fields everywhere and they're all poofed out because it's time, it's that time of year for picking the cotton. They use the big machines and stuff now and they roll it into a big roll with plastic around it. Like they're humongous. Um, if you ever seen the hay bale rolls, they're that big, but they're cotton. Um, and when they haul them down the road, little pieces will fly out and it's all along the road and um, you can pick it up if you want to because it's on the side of the road. That's makes it public property once it lands on the side of the road. But uh, you can't go pick it out of the fields though. I have seen um, people that don't live in the area sometimes stop and uh, try to pick it out of the fields or even like the watermelon fields we have or anything like that. That's illegal, people. <laughs> in case you didn't know, that's illegal. That's somebody else's property that you're stealing. Um, just because it's in an open field, that's how it grows. It can't be grown in a shelter. <laughs> you can't uh, just go out there and pick stuff. It's not for people to pick. That's private property and you could get in trouble. You could also potentially get shot at, I'm just going to say, because uh, farmers don't like people taking that's their money you're taking basically in your own private property so i uh, just just in case you're visiting you know don't do that um so yeah i just thought i'd share that it's just a little bit of cotton fresh from the field and it does look just like batting or something it's just got a bunch of trash in it that has to be cleaned out and everything before they can do anything with it which is why i've often wondered I need to look that up a bit because when you get when you find it in the field it's white like this and sometimes I see natural cotton batting that is a off white color and I'm it's all say unbleached and I'm like but cotton is white from the field so I don't know what that means exactly I've got to look that up because I just thought about that the other day I was like well cotton is not really that off white color um, Unless that happens from the process of getting all these, because those seeds are really just, ugh, let's see if I can get one out. Yeah, they're kind of just super stuck in there. You see, it took me a minute to get that. It's a hard seed, like a seed from any plant. Um, so I don't know. I don't know, I have to look that up. But it does look white like this in the field. It looks like snow. It's the only snow I ever see. <laughs> well, sometimes I see real snow, but <laughs> that's not a frequent thing around here. All right, I think that's it for this segment. I have talked about cotton for too long, I think. Um, I will see y'all in the next segment. <laughs>most of the finished objects are bags because that's what I've been sewing on. I did not manage to hem shirts yet that I wanted to do. Um, I don't know that I'll even get to do that before the end of this weekend because I have quite a lot to do. But I do have a few things that came in to show you. It's part of some clubs that I'm in. And I wanted to show you these two bags in particular that I sewed because they are going to someone and you will never see them otherwise because uh, they were special orders. Um, then I'll talk a little bit about what's in the shop and what's coming. So this segment is going to be mostly about bags in the shop. Um, I don't really have, I'm trying to think, do I have anything else? No, not really sewing related going on right now besides the shirts that I was going to hem up and since I didn't get that done I can't really show those to y'all so uh that's what it's going to be in this segment so if you want to hear about my bags in the shop maybe you want to I do have some stuff to show and DIY and thrifty goodness uh so you might want to skip ahead to that I don't know uh but this is what I got going on right now um so I did get my next uh Tilla Lily Fat Quarter Club for October uh, this month's bundle is Windermere by Brenda Riddle Designs for Moda. So, these are the fabrics I got. 
I got this little floral. Apparently she's known for her petite florals. Cute. Uh, yeah. And there's the same print in a different colorway. So, no, I can't. There we go. <laughs> um, I like the fabrics, although I had they feel a bit spring-like to me. Um, I was kind of hoping for some Halloween fabrics for October. <laughs> Not gonna lie, or some fall-feeling fabrics at least. Um, yeah. I like them, and they'll go in my stash, but I just, I'm a little disappointed in this one, first one I've ever been disappointed in, only because it's October, and I don't feel like this is very much for this time of year, so, there you go, and also, I ordered a, I pre-ordered a spooky box from Fat Quarter Shop, which I have never seen, and I know other people have it because I've seen reviews of it. Um, I sent them a message yesterday. I'm sure it won't be answered until next week sometime, but I've never received it. I didn't see a charge. You're supposed to pay, you pay like a reservation fee of like $1.98, and then they charge the rest when it ships out, which it was supposed to do on the 1st, but that never happened, so I don't know what happened. I'm going to be very disappointed if I don't get one, because I've seen what's in them, and I really wanted it. <laughs> so... I don't know we'll see what happens um and if i'm not gonna get it i would you know i'm i don't know why so anywho i also received my next um blocks for the cotton cuts uh mystery no cotton cuts puzzle mystery quilt um these are the fabrics remember that i'm i chose this colorway they always have several to choose from I have yet to sew the ones from last month, so I'm, I'm hoping to get that done at least because they go together really fast because they're already cut, which is something I love about it. Um, this is this month's block of the month. Eight-pointed star. Very pretty. And as usual, they have a thing you can color in, and if you share a pic on Instagram, you could win a two yards of fabric. So, um, I never managed to do that. But I also got a card in here. They have some new clubs. I want to cover up my code. Uh, they have Chroma. It's an Aurafail thread club. And then they also have Java, which is a, a batik fat quarter uh, club. Is that right yeah so with the java one i haven't looked to see how much these are you get 12 fat quarters a spool of rfl thread your choice of a pattern made for the fat quarters a collectible block which is probably like these um a signature hashtag sewing truth pencil so um yeah, with my code, I can get 10% off my first month if I want to try it out. And with the RFL Thread membership, it doesn't really say you'll get the best of 50 weight cotton spools each month. It doesn't say how many you'll get. I have to look into that, but I've got a coupon for free shipping with my first month. If I want to try it out. So I'm going to definitely check those out. And see if there's anything I'm interested in. Um, so those are the clubs that I got in. Uh, stack my other. Got two months worth I need to do. I will get to it. Eventually. So. In the trash. It did make it in trash. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Alright. Now. 
I'm going to show you these two bags that I made. One was a special request traveler's maker bag. And I'm totally in love with it. And I really want to make myself one of it. Like it now. So anyway, this first one is, uh, you may recognize this uh, leg panel on the other side they go the opposite way it had a little saying along the edge but i wasn't able to keep that because it was right at the edge of the fabric and you couldn't really put a seam on it so i was kind of disappointed about that but um it came with i've already sold all of them i had some kind of small maker bags that i said were like the mini maker bags big sister um that had prints from this line of fabric um uh, like paper doll looking things. It was interesting prints. I've already sold all of them. I had three of them and they all sold already. But I had this one that someone saw and said, I want the pouch that you made with that. So I made an extended zipper tab on this one and it has the newspaper print fabric inside. And you know what? I just realized I have not put a label on this. I'm gonna have to stamp a label on that. So anyway, this was this was already reserved. So I wanted to show y'all that. And then here is the traveling maker bag, y'all. You see the smile on my face. Sometimes I'm just excited with the way something turns out. Turns out, and I can't believe I made it. <laughs> so, but here it is. It has that wonderful uh, Gasly's. See, there's the lady hiding in there. Ghastly Snips print. There's a lady on each side. Um, and I paired it with this wonderful uh, cotton tweed, uh, cotton herringbone suiting, which is very soft. Um, it's hard to see the, the herringbone, but it, it's a very nice material. I did the extended zipper on it as well, just so you can get an idea of what these bags look like when I make them. I did the cross stitching here for the handles for more stability up by the zipper. Um, this is the standard height of the the handle. Um, this is the big bag, y'all. I'm gonna show you the inside. Um, this does come with the metal zipper. That's come with a charm, but I've already put that in a thing to ship to her. Um, look inside. This is from the Gasly's line of fabric to these tree print, but I thought it looked wonderful with it. And I put this, uh, dusty pink kind of trim up at the top because when I do my zipper it has that I like to do my zipper it kind of stands up it is open on the ends but it just uh, it gives you a little bit more room at the zipper portion um, and it's easier to put in I mean, I'm going to be looking for some separating zippers so that this part will separate at the end and it will make it even you can open the bag further so on the one side it, it has the the pockets like I do um, this one has this one this bigger bag actually comes with four of the smaller slots which are for pencils pens uh, crochet hooks knitting needles whatever you need to stick in there um, it has the d-ring in the, the corner here on the ribbon tab for hanging things and then in these big bags I also put in the inset uh, zipper which is also metal and you open it up and of course I like to put another fabric in there which is just nice to look at I love doing inset zippers y'all pat pockets it's not as hard as you might think the process is actually as long as you do you mark everything correctly it's really easy to do actually and I just it's one of those things that a plus B plus C equals D or whatever you want to say about it it is not, if, if you lay it out correctly it works I don't have issues with it um, and I love doing it because it's actually so much easier than it looks if that makes sense so anywho this bag it'll be packed up I got some orders and this is amongst one of them to pack up and it'll be going to its new owner um, but yeah this is an example of the traveling maker bags I have one cut out that will be going Actually, I have three cut out. Two are Halloween themed. And we'll see if anybody wants those. But I already had them cut, up, cut out from last year. I think I may do one as a Mega Maker bag and one as a Traveling Maker bag. 
and see how they do because I theme bags some people really love Halloween and they would love it but you know some people don't want a bag that big for a specific holiday so uh, anywho that bag along with my other orders I've gotten thank y'all so much for the orders I have received I do appreciate that um, I have several to pack up to go out on Tuesday because Monday is a holiday here. We have um, Columbus Day. Uh, that's one of the reasons we're out of school. So um, I, I won't be able to ship anything out till Tuesday. Um, but currently in the shop, I have all of, I have four pouches like this, which this is where I did the strip quilting and piecing. I did it onto stitches. It has this quite bright yellow corduroy with stars on the back because I just like the way it looks. No, it's not fall themed or anything, but I also need to put a stamp label. And these, they have different colors on the inside and they come with different charms. This one in particular has a uh, painter's palette charm. So I have them all listed in the shop. Um, I did start putting the D-ring with the ribbon on the outside instead of just putting a ribbon on the inside. I felt that would be more useful. So I have one like that. And I think there's two in there with this um, marshmallow plus graham cracker plus chocolate equals love print. And I did the Tilly Blue stitching on it. I have one with a teapot and cup and one with a milk carton with a heart on it. And they all have this gingham fabric on the inside plus I have a drawstring bag and a mini maker bag like this the mini uh, uh, drawstring maker bag and a mini maker bag like this the mini maker bag the print's upside down <laughs> it's still a good useful bag yes the print's upside down but you know it's still a useful bag um then I have this uh which has the vampire teeth on it actually I'll have one of these left um, all that zigzag stitching is glow in the dark thread and it does glow in the dark because I tested it out it's not like super bright but you can see it it has this fabulous blue shirting so here's my story about this particular print and why I paired it with that blue shirting um, I am not a fan of horror movies they freak me out um, I just don't like being scared. Some people like to be scared. Um, I don't. Uh, my son is a fan of horror movies. He inherited that from his dad. I just, it's, it's not my thing to watch, okay? Although I do like watching CSI type <laughs> shows and investigation shows like that. I don't like the creepy horror shows. But this print very much reminds me of I don't know. I think it's called House on Haunted Hill. I think it was a movie. I could not watch the rest of that movie, y'all. But it had, like, these creepy images, like, on the video. They were watching some security video where, it like, this image of this creepy doctor would appear. And it was all staticky and jumpy. And, um, those kind of movies are the worst <laughs> for me. <laughs> But this is my representation of that type of horror movie with the weird skeleton print. I actually do like this skeleton print because, you know, it's kind of, if someone was a doctor or something, they might like that just, uh, or an anthropologist, um, they might enjoy that, although I did put the vampire teeth on there. Um, and so the, the blue shirting on the inside represents, like, doctor scrubs, you know. They're always wearing those, those scrubs, so... There's your long interpretation of why I put that fabric with that other fabric. Is that just ridiculous? Uh, it is. So, I only have one of these left. Someone already bought one, and someone already bought the drawstring maker bag. Um, I do have two zippered maker bags, which I hope to finish up today, as well as a tote um, with this fabric on it and some other canvas fabric that kind of looks like uh, x-ray stuff. Okay? So then, for those that don't like Halloween, I have put in the squirrely pouches. Now, someone already bought the pouch with just the squirrels on it. 
someone already bought the two <laughs> mini maker bags and someone already bought the ma uh, maker drawstring bag. <laughs> so this is the only one I have left in the shop, but I have a zippered maker bag coming. So just in case you really like that print. Um, and this has like an acorn little dangle on it. And the maker bag, the zippered maker bag will be uh, like this. It'll have this across the bottom and then this across the top. So that is coming. Someone already bought everything but that pouch or well, it's two different orders, but anyway. And then I have this one pouch, which I had um, all those totes I had before that had the the shiny cork is what it's called. It's called uncorked is the print. I had a bunch of pink squares left over, so I made this. It wasn't enough for another tote, so I made this a little zippered bag. Um, it has pink velveteen on it. It has this nice little filigree charm, heart charm, and on the inside is actually two-toned. <laughs> I did this dusty pink on one side and like this medium taupey gray on the other side. So it has two different colors on the inside. So that one is in there. So those are currently in the shop. Uh, and coming up, I'm going to try to finish up my Halloween stuff because in this next update, because fall stuff I can, you know, will be good through November until we head into Christmas and I start putting Christmas wintery stuff in. So I need to get these Halloween things done. Now, currently I have, which I think this one I will make into a traveling maker tote, which is like the one I just showed you. So uh, if anybody really loves it, just let me know. Uh, this is, it says embalm and scary on, and it's got like a spider up there. Um, and a skull. And this is purple corduroy, like fine well purple corduroy. So this is going to be a traveling maker bag. And it has this purple. That's going to be the lining. Now, as for the other materials that go into it, I have some different things cut out. And, you know, I'll have pictures whenever I list it in the shop. Um, so this one, this is the other big bag I have showed, cut out that's currently... Halloween themed. I'm going to make a Mega Maker drawstring bag out of this one. I hand dyed this. It was cotton canvas and I just dyed it with some orange and uh, it's just got this graveside kind of scene with the crows on it and it will have this. It's very orange but I will put other colors to like on the inside pocket and stuff that will you know make good contrast for this so those are the two Halloween themed big bags I have coming I have more big bags coming but it's probably going to be into November before I get to those for those waiting on any of the bigger bags um that's just fabric so coming up also I'm going to tell you that I'm going to hold off on the zippered pouches. I got so many in there right now. Um, I had zippered pouches cut out for some of these. So if you really want a zippered pouch, you're gonna have to let me know to match it. Otherwise, they're gonna be put on hold until I finish some of this other stuff. Um, but I have this Scooby-Doo fabric, which I really like. It's just got Scooby-Doo and the black and white kind of, kind of a uh, taupey color, really comic book style print. I will have mini maker bags. I will have a drawstring maker bag. As a matter of fact, I think I'm just going to do drawstring maker bags for this print um, instead of the zippered one. So I have drawstring mini makers and drawstring maker bags in that print. So, and this is going to be the trim at the top. And the inside is going to be this orangey, circle-y stuff. So, because I can get those done really quick. Hang on just a second, y'all. Okay, my nose is running around. <laughs> so this one, I will actually have, this one's kind of not necessarily just Halloween to me. It reads sort of wintry, but it has a bat on it. So, but I don't think it's like Halloween. Uh, see, it has the bat. 
It's in this pretty, what do they call this color? Mm, it's escaping me right now, but it's like this purpley pinky light color. Uh, and it has these little flowers and that other bluish color on it. So I will have the mini maker bags. Like I said, I'm not doing the zippered pouches unless somebody just wants them. Uh, and I have, I'm going to be doing some zippered, uh, do I have totes? I think I have a zippered tote and a zippered, um, not a zippered tote. I think I have a tote and a zippered maker bag and a drawstring maker bag cut out of that print because for the, uh, the drawstring, not the drawstring, I'm sorry. The drawstring will have the full on print. The uh, zippered bag and the tote will have this purpley velveteen on it. Okay. Um, I just like this print. Like I said, I don't think it's necessarily just Halloween because it has a bat on it. But I put it with the Halloween stuff because some people don't of bats except in Halloween. Bats are important. There are bats in my yard. They eat mosquitoes and I love them for that. <laughs> so and then you can see this little that's a lining fabric for those. So I have let's see I have I know I have a drawstring maker bag, a zippered maker bag, and I will have a tote out of it and a mini maker bags out of it okay that is on the list and this one again I don't think this is necessarily has to be Halloween but it has bugs and spider webs so it is gray and it has all these fun colored bugs this is a Gasly's print um, from Alexander Henry Alexander Alexander Henry too many cricks so and it has this dusty purple lining as I said I, this will just be um, yeah these will just be drawstring maker bags and mini maker bags okay those are really easy for me to get done and then I have one more set that will definitely be going in I don't know how many of these I can get done did I do any mini now, I don't have any mini, well, no, I take that back. I have one. I don't even think this is going to be, I think it's going to be a pouch. But it's this, like, a monster bar print or whatever it's called. And it has this fun, different kinds of witches brooms print on the inside. So, I do have, if that's a pouch, I probably won't do it. I don't, I'm not going to say any mini maker all of these I have cut out to be zippered maker bags because the print is to get the print right I had to cut it a certain way to get the full effect of the print but I'm pairing it again with that <laughs> that's a weird picture <laughs> that velvet that perfect purple velveteen and like I said it'll have that which is fabric which is broom fabric on the inside so those will all be zippered maker pouches because it just the print really just didn't allow for me to do anything different because I couldn't make a full drawstring bag because it would have cut into part of the print that would have been good for another bag if that makes sense so anywho that it's another over 20 minute segment yeah y'all this is gonna be long i haven't done a video in quite a while so that's what happens when you don't do videos for a while but those are coming up that's what i've been doing sewing wise it's just bags sewing bags but i actually do enjoy it so i enjoy seeing the completed thing i get excited when i get close to having them finished and i can see the finished product and i'm like oh you know, I want to keep all of them. Obviously, that's not going to help me out any to do that. So, uh, yeah, those are things coming. Um, I don't have any new fabrics to show y'all. I'm trying to not buy new fabrics 
although I did order some things from the Fat Quarter Shop, <laughs> but it is my birthday month, so, you know, there's that. All right, I'll see y'all in the next segment. <laughs> okay, y'all, it's time for DIY and thrifty fun. I think I said it right that time. I just try to say goodness. I think it's because of my yarn and goodness. I don't know. But I'm not going to show you what I got at the yard sale because I'm going to do a completely different video for that with my haul from the yard sale because there's way too much to try to squeeze into this video, which is getting exceedingly long already. Um, but I did have some other things to show y'all. So um, yeah, let's get into that. I don't have anything made to show y'all. I think I showed y'all before the charms I put in for fall and Halloween. They are all currently in there. I have like some pumpkin ones I was going to make. So we'll see if that makes it in there. But these are charms that will be coming up in the future uh, that I've ordered. They're super cute. I can't wait. But I have these Christmas trees. Um, come on. That's my dog snorting, just so y'all know. She's waiting for me to take her out. But I have these Christmas trees. I actually got a bag of assorted ones, so I have a bunch of different kinds of those. Then I have some reindeer. Oh, where did it go? Little reindeer. I have... Come on, fingers work. I have snowflakes. I have a bag of assorted snowflakes, actually. So these have different ones of this. And I have these. These will probably wind up being charms on pouches and stuff for Christmas and winter. They're little uh, pine cones. And then I have this one is probably my favorite one. It says, let it snow. And it has a little dangle with a tiny snowflake on it. I thought was cute. And then this one has nothing to do with winter or Christmas, but I thought they were really cool. It is a caffeine molecule. Because <laughs> I'm a big nerd like that. Um, although I didn't realize it had two hook places, so I'll probably put a dangle on it, kind of like the Let It Snow one when I make them. But yeah, that is a caffeine molecule <laughs> for those coffee fiends amongst us which I certainly am so those will be I won't be putting those in towards mid-november yeah somewhere in there because um, they're more wintry Christmas themed I stuck more with towards wintry than Christmas um, I did have a few that I kind of liked but this is what I decided to go with. Um, so I ordered big bags of them. So I don't ever sell all. Like, because it's cheaper. And I can always do other things with them. Sorry, that was rather noisy, wasn't it? Okay, so now I've been ordering some things off of Amazon. That's very noisy too. Uh, for washi tape I use for package wrapping and in my planners and stickers for my planners and different stuff like that. So I had ordered this big bag of washi tape. It's in different colors. They're just different colors. There is a shiny gold one in there. Yeah. And then there, it's just a bunch of different colors. So I ordered that. I ordered this, which... I should have brought some of those in here, but I didn't. And I'm not going to get them. But they have a little, you can probably see the mushrooms. And they like have little animals. It's a little pack of stickers. It's got little stickers in it. Um, and I thought they were cute. They're like fall themed, forest themed. They got leaves and acorns and stuff like that. Um, and then I ordered, I actually got one of these in the yarn swap I did, but I seen them on there and I ordered some of them. There you are. I love knitting stickers. I could not find any I love crochet stickers, but they got stuff like that in there. Um, so the reason I don't have this 
uh, the package yet is because for some reason they sent me these three items twice when I come home I had three boxes which one box had something else I ordered in it and the two of them had the same thing in it it had so I have two of these multicolored washi tape packs two of these and two of these I've already opened the other one that's why I didn't open that one um, because I really want to message them and say hey you sent me too much because I know that even though Amazon packages some of this stuff there are individual sellers that sell on Amazon and that could be a loss for them so I want to let them know that they sent me two and if I need to send it back so that's why I haven't opened it um, and then I also got this package of free uh, heart stickers that came with it so now that was interesting I always have weird things happen with the mail although sometimes it does work in my favor and I get extra stuff there was the time that that book I ordered that never showed up turns out someone had shipped something with mercury in it and it leaked out on their things and they had to destroy the book <laughs> so yeah sometimes strange things like that happen too I feel like I'm not no not completely focused all right, so some, something else I ordered. Now, I used to collect stickers when I was a kid. Like, I had a sticker book, and I used to trade stickers with people on the playground and stuff. And I don't know, I've just gotten back into stickers here recently. Plus, I use them when I ship stuff or mail stuff to people. So, I got this big old giant book <laughs> of stickers, which is a Melissa and Doug. It's for kids, but it had uh seasonal seasonal stickers i mean it, it has halloween back to school spring summer animals food greeting cards ro rewards thanksgiving autumn winter holidays and a new year so it has all kinds of stuff in here um there's an example because this even has like president day stickers and kwanzaa and hanukkah stickers you can see right there so yeah, it has all kinds of stickers in here, which is pretty awesome. Um, I may not use all these stickers, but I like them. And I really like some of these fall ones. The acorn, it's got mushrooms and stuff in there. So it's got a lot of cool stuff. It has Rosh, Haz Rosh Hashanah, I hope I said that right, stickers in here. It has. Yom Kippur stickers. It's got patriotic stickers and camping stickers and animals. It's got Father's Day, Mother's Day stickers, Valentine, St. Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo, Easter. Yeah, it's got all kinds of stickers in here, y'all. And this was like five bucks. So. <laughs> I thought I could use that for some stuff. So I got it. I can use it in my planner or on packages or whatever. And I also got this, which was more than five bucks, but it was cheaper on Amazon. This is from the Happy Planner, which is what I use, a Happy Planner. It is seasonal uh, stuff for your, your planner. It's got stickers and it's got uh, things that you can use with your planner little tabs and stuff like that and plus this came with this little rubber band holder which I appreciate a lot of times these booklets come with stickers on the side which are hard to get off and then they leave a sticky stuff on the top of the pad I also got this which is dividers for the happy planner so I can keep up with business cards and such as that it's got three sheets of each design there's four different designs there is a is divided by four divided into two and one that's divided into three six nine twelve yeah yeah so that's what it's got um they were a good price on amazon so that's why i got those there you go that's what i got <laughs> 
Uh, I think that's it, y'all. I have been talking for a long time, and I've still got to edit the rest of this so I can try to get it rendered and uploaded to YouTube before the end of the day. And while it's doing all that, I'm going to be sewing. Which I'm excited about that because I'm tired of talking, y'all. <laughs> and I love to talk. Uh, if it's about something I'm interested in, I do. But um, I will be doing coming this week. I didn't do any extra videos last week. I did that small update video and that was it for last week. Um, but this week I will have a tutorial Tuesday video, which is going to be about uh, my favorite things for knitting and crochet. Um, so it's not really a tutorial, but it's just like a, hey, these are the things I like and I use kind of thing. Um, someone suggested that in the comments. I have done one of those for sewing actually. And if I remember, I will put a link to it or try to put one of them eye things up here. I try to write that down when I'm editing the video, but by the time it's uploaded, I'm just tired of dealing with it. And I forget about to go back and do that because you have to do that in YouTube. So, um, yeah. And then I'm going to be doing a review on Thursday, which is going to be for the two special Halloween uh, yarn things I got from Etsy from two different shops. So I'll be doing, I'll be showing y'all that and talking about that. Um, I will have an extra video this week for my 100 mile yard sale haul to show y'all. If you follow me on Instagram or if you get my newsletter, you will have seen some of that already because I'm doing a blog post about it on Friday and I'm going to do a video to go along with it. So those will be a combined thing for Friday. Uh, what else? Can there possibly be? Uh, I don't know. I've got to finish advent calendar bags. And I've got to finish my crochet pattern for that. Because time is running out, y'all. But if you think about, think about Jenna from Southern Skein. She has not been feeling very great for quite some time now. So y'all think about her. She's got a lot to get through. So, as, as do I. And not feeling well does not make that any easier. So y'all just be thinking about her and hope that she's going to be getting better soon. Um, and I think, I think that's it y'all. I really do. My dog is over here snoring, uh, cause she fell asleep cause she's, she's waiting for me to take her outside, which is something I need to do. So, um, you can hear her snoring possibly. I don't know. I'll see when I play the video back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will, uh, I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great week. Bye.